In other viral fake news, there was misinformation suggesting that COVID-19 vaccines alter your DNA. It is important to get the message out there that none of these genetic vaccines change or interact with your DNA in any way. In the case of the Oxford AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, which are DNA viral vector vaccines, scientists remove genetic material from the original virus that encodes for its replication ability. This rendered it replication incompetent. This means that it is no longer able to infect cells. Thus, the virus just becomes a vector for carrying and transporting genetic material. The coronavirus spike protein RNA was converted to DNA and then added to the adenovirus DNA. After the vaccine is injected, the adenovirus latches onto receptors on the cell surface. The cell engulfs the virus, and once inside, the adenovirus travels to the nucleus and pushes the DNA into the nucleus. This DNA is transcribed into mRNA, which leaves the nucleus and moves into the cytoplasm. In contrast, the Pfizer, M-Biotech and Moderna vaccines are single-stranded mRNA vaccines carried in a lipid nanoparticle. After injection, the nanoparticles fuse with the cell membrane, releasing the mRNA into the cell. The short mRNA sequence coding for the spike protein enters the cell cytoplasm and interacts with the cellular machinery, known as the ribosome, to create its own spike proteins. Once the ribosome has made these proteins from mRNA, these spike proteins are displayed on the surface of the cells, either as whole proteins or as fragments, which are presented on other molecules. Our own immune cells, known as helper T cells, detect these fragments and release signals that recruit other immune cells to the area. B cells can recognize and engulf, represent or attach to these fragments and T cells recognize them as foreign viral spike proteins and mount an immune response that involves production of stimulatory factors. This also activates B cells, allowing them to produce antibodies against the spike protein. If the body ever comes in contact with the real coronavirus particles, the immune system has a memory of the spike protein and acts rapidly to detect and eliminate the coronavirus before it has a chance to manifest in the body. Antibodies block the coronavirus's spike protein from binding to the ACE2 receptor and entering the cell, and T cells are also able to kill off viral particles by releasing cytotoxic molecules. Unlike DNA, which is quite stable, mRNA is short-lived and degrades in the cell cytoplasm very quickly. This is the reason why mRNA vaccines have such important cold chain transport and storage requirements, and why delivery and utilization in low and middle income countries is posing such a huge challenge.